Okay, welcome back to part three. Let's go ahead and reclassify these into new layers. Go to layer properties over here, right click, new layer, and let's create one for the frame. So frame, and I'm going to give this a bluish color. And then I'm going to right click, new layer, and I'm going to give one for the wheels as well. Okay, and we'll go with a more bright color, so maybe like a lime or something like that. I'm going to close out of this, press escape twice, select both these wheels and reclassify them to the wheels layer. Then I'm going to turn this layer off so I can focus on the frame. The one thing I want to focus on first is this over here. This is kind of in the way of the circle. So go ahead, turn off your snap settings. That's going to make this a little bit easier. And then just kind of click on the face and drag it so that it's not interfering with the diameter of the part, like so. Okay, it, we do want it to be connected to a degree. We just don't want it to be connected too much. Okay, so drag it out a little bit, each of these, so that it's in the diameter, but not too far in the diameter, that it would actually inhibit the functionality of this part, which is eventually going to hold in the pedal. Awesome. Okay, other than that, let's go ahead and extrude this object out. Extrude it with EXT, enter, then we're going to click on both circles, enter, and we need to turn our snap settings back on. So I'll click that back on and I'll click at the top of this, then escape twice and use the copy command. Whoops, uh, let's subtract the, the inside first. So the subtract command to subtract the big thing, enter from the small thing, enter. So that should have cut that out. I want to take a look in the shaded view. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to use the copy command to copy this, enter from the center there to the center there. Okay, so we should have two in place and that looks great. I'm also going to adjust one of these just a little bit, click on it, and I'll just click on the center and drag it out. Make sure your snap mode's off for that first one, but then you can go ahead and turn your snap mode on for the second one, just to drag it out a little further. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I think everything's good and in place. We're gonna go ahead and fuse this all together now with the union tool. So go to union, enter, select the entire object, press enter again, and it should hopefully fuse this all into a singular object, which it has. So that's looking great. And now we're going to go ahead and select it all and allocate this over to the frame layer. Okay. Next, we need to do some touch-ups for the wheels. So let's turn those back on. And then I'm just going to kind of look at it from the side here. So I'm in like a isometric view. And I need to rotate this so it's facing upward. It's kind of been facing on the side, at least for me. So I'm going to click on my X, Y, Z. And I'm just going to move the Z to where the X was. So it kind of reorients my plane, but it's also going to allow me to flip this bike around. So I'm going to use the rotate command, ROT, enter, select the bike, enter, and I'll get, I guess I'll use the center point of this circle to kind of flip it around like so. So I'm going to click there. You can now see that the bike is facing upright and I'm going to press escape twice and just focus on one of these wheels for now and then I can adjust it later accordingly. Let's set up the rim. Go UCS, enter to move your XY. Go to the outskirts of one of the circles and go to the center. And we need the X and the Y to be facing the plane of the circle like so. Okay, so it is in place now. I'm gonna then use the offset tool, OFF offset. And the distance is just gonna be a small amount. Let's go ahead and say point, point 0.15, enter click on this and I'm going to go inward, at least for me, 0.15, and that's going to be the rim. This part here is going to be the tire. So I'm just kind of setting that up in place. And then in the center, I'm going to draw an additional circle. Or actually, let's draw a line actually from this point over to just a little bit away from here. So whatever that distance is, and we're going to discover that together. But I'm going to use the line tool. Okay. And I'm going to specify it from the center of that circle going outward. I'm going to make sure my ortho mode is on because I really need those, those straight lines here. 
I'm going to go out, at least for me, it looks like about 0.14. So I'm going to type 0.14. Yours might be slightly different. You don't want it to go the entire way. You just want it to kind of go out a little bit because then on this line, we're going to draw an additional circle. Okay. And it's going to go the, the way of the plane. Okay. And for me, I need a small circle, probably 0.1 or so um, would be perfectly fine. So I'm going to go 0.1, enter, and taking a look at that. That looks pretty respectable for what I'm going for. We can hide the frame now. So I'm going to turn off the frame for a second. I just needed it to create that circle over there. And then I'm going to turn on my polar, my polar settings over here, my polar tracking, just to draw out one line very nicely. So L for line. And I'm just going to go from the bottom here to the bottom there. So let's take a look at that line and see if it's good. Uh, and it looks pretty respectable, so that's fine. I also need to draw a circle that I'm going to uh, circle that I'm going to sweep across it. So I'm going to use the circle tool. And for me, it's these are spokes, so they got to be really fine. So I'm going to probably go with like 0 0.025 or something, just a really small number. Okay. So it is visible, just not very visible. I'm going to use the sweep command. Enter select that, enter, select that, perfect. So I created one of those spokes. And now I'm going to use this and just array it around the wheel. So array, enter, select that, enter. And we're going to just use a polar array. And the center point is going to be that. OK, so we got six spokes across the wheel. That's fine. Let me see what 12 looks like. OK, so that's 12. I actually really like that number and it looks pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. So I've gone ahead and created 12 on that side. Okay, let's mirror this to the other side and we're going to have to reorient our XYZ. So I'm going to click on that, go to the bottom one. Let me click on that. Okay, and I'm going to move the Y in that direction just because we can only draw on the XY. So now we can face it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on my top view. So I'm facing it. Let me draw a line real quick. This line is going to help us. It's going to be kind of a reference. So I'm going to draw out a reference line. And now I'm going to use the mirror tool, MIR for mirror. Select that, enter, and then use this line as my reference. Erase source object, no. OK, so it should have put those spokes in place. Now let's go ahead and add in the wheel and the rim. To do that, we need to remember the, the size of both of these circles. If you forgot, just click on it, and it should, it should tell you if you hover over one of the points on it. So this is 2.2, and this one here is 2.35 in diameter. So if I took out a calculator and I did 2.35 minus 2.2, that means the difference in diameter between the two is 0.15. And since there's an equal amount on both sides, I'm going to have to divide this by 2. So the circle I want to draw is 0 0.075 for myself. OK, so I'm going to go to the top view of this. I'm going to adjust it so I'm facing it the right way. And I'm going to use a circle to draw out a 0 0.075 diameter, which will eventually be my wheel. But I'm also going to use the copy tool because I'm going to make the rim first. Select that, enter. And I'm just going to go down just a little bit, maybe like 0.035. 035 for myself. Okay, because I need to make the rim portion first. So that's the part that's going to connect these two. And then I'm going to use the trim command, select both of those, and just trim off the excess. So this here is going to be my rim. And I'm going to use the join tool to select that and join that together. Okay, so rim, then the circle again. OK, 0 0.075, Enter. OK, and I think before we add these in, let's go ahead and make some additional layers. So go to your layer properties. And we're going to take the wheels, right click on it. We're going to rename this layer over here to Spokes. OK, that's still going to be our green. Then we're going to right click, New Layer. This is going to be the rim. And the rim will be like a silver color. OK, and then right click new layer. And this is going to be tires. OK, 
okay and that's uh that's going to be like a more dark color i usually don't go with the black color though because it's a little hard to see on this background so for the time being i'll just use like a maroon eh, no you know what i'll use like a like a red or no we already used red a pink okay okay perfect okay let's go ahead and sweep these across sweep enter let's go with the tire first enter and then it's going to sweep across that i'm going to press escape twice and immediately section this off into the tires area okay i'm also going to select these and section those off into the spokes okay and then one more sweep this enter on this path like so and escape twice and i'm going to section this off into the rim layer like that okay i'm going to take a look at it and i'm going to also switch over to my shaded view perfect so that's looking really good turn back to 2d wireframe and we're going to wrap this up and hopefully add in the pedals for part four so this is mr z and i'll see you all tomorrow peace